All right, welcome back. We are continuing to track a hurricane Ida. We saw just moments ago people still out making last minute preps. There are some sandbags still available, but the window for making those preps and getting everything together is closing. Yeah, smart idea, idea to get those sandbags and get ready now. We have a seven o'clock update for you from Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr. Margaret, what is the latest now? Okay, here it is. You have a smile <laughs> on your face. I hope it's. I do. Well, no, that's okay. just because I've probably had too much coffee. All right, so here we are, we're looking at it and it's about 200 miles to the south southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River. Max winds at this point still 105 miles per hour. Let me just pop up that forecast track. So still forecast to make landfall as a Cat 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour. Now you know that's lower than what was forecast yesterday. Remember yesterday it was expected to be 140 miles per hour and the track did shift just a little bit to the east, just a little bit. And then forecast to move right over Baton Rouge area as a Cat 1 hurricane. So let me take you through it. Here is a look and you can see sure enough, you know, it's looking better organized. Those hurricane force winds extend outward 30 miles, but that's a pretty good looking storm right now. Tropical force winds extend outward 125 miles. So you look at this and you can just see that push and uh, you know, that's always a concern. Plus the wind field is expected to expand. So as it moves northwest, it's gonna be pushing more water. So here we are right there, kind of near Port Fouchon, Terrebonne Bay is what it looks like with those winds of 130 miles per hour and moving up by Baton Rouge. So you want to know what's gonna happen in your area. I'm gonna take you through it. But for Southeast Louisiana, basically, landfall is early Sunday. It's gonna be a Cat 4 early afternoon. Surge, tornadoes, wind, heavy rain. Heavy rain is a big concern. It is going to be a large, dangerous hurricane, and the potential some areas could have catastrophic damage. So, of course, I'm most concerned with Terrebonne, Lafourche, and Lower Jefferson parishes. They're, they're really at risk for serious damage, and I know a lot of people have left. They kind of got the message this is a bad one. So, catastrophic wind damage possible. Okay, 130 mile per hour winds coming right off the Gulf, nothing to slow it down. You know you are going to have wind damage in these lower areas. Catastrophic storm surge. You get 10 to 15 feet of water rushing in, you know it's gonna cause a lot of damage. And I really wish all of you the best and I hope you got out, you know? And then we go to the river parishes. I am always concerned about the river parishes. And that's because you get the water flowing in and you really don't have a good system to protect you yet. So, you know, I have friends who have businesses right there on the western side of the lake. I always worry about them. Of course, they're raised. But then you always are gonna get flooding right there at I-10. I am expecting that to happen the potential that you could have 15 inches of rain. No pumps can take care of 15 inches of rain and a six to nine foot storm surge. So that means you could have six to nine feet of water rise. Then we go to the North Shore, looking at Livingston, Tanchipahoe and St. Tammany. I'm really looking at the lower portions that are going to be impacted by surge. And right along the lake, in those few low places, you know, you've got the potential for a nine foot surge. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. Plus, you're gonna get a lot of rain. You've got the potential of 24 hours of heavy rain. Man, that's bad. And then the metro. So we're gonna have wind damage. Um, homes are probably gonna have damage. There's gonna be tree limbs down, possibly trees down and power lines down. Uh, so it's wind, rain, and surge, and an isolated tornado, certainly possible. Flooding, I'm expected street, I'm expecting it, 10 to 15 inches of rain. 
That's for the metro. Now for South Mississippi, my sister's kind of right over here. She's left. Tropical force winds for 29 hours. I counted them up. 39 miles per hour up to about 60 is what I saw. Wind, rain, surge, and seven to 10 inches of rain there, though some indications it could be a little higher and some that it could be lower. Three to nine feet of surge. That's not good. All right, catastrophic wind damage, life-threatening storm surge, considerable life-threatening flash flooding. So rivers are going to rise and they're going to spread out. Here is a look at the storm surge forecast and it's, you know, 10 to 15 feet along the coast. That's a whole lot of water. Seven to 11 feet east of the mouth of the river and now in the lake, a good five to eight feet into Lake Maurepas, four to six feet. This is what gets your attention. So the red is nine feet above the ground, and this is the potential storm surge that the Hurricane Center sends out. And there's a whole lot of red on that map. And it's up here on the North Shore. The yellow is where you've got three feet. You know, I've got friends who have places right up in here. And then South Mississippi, you can see the yellows and the reds. And that's why I went with nine feet for some. And for others, the yellow, but still three feet. That's a lot of water. So we do have the flash flood watch in effect, Sunday at seven o'clock until uh, seven o'clock on Tuesday. There is that high risk for excessive rainfall. And that comes from the Weather Prediction Center. You know, sometimes they're wrong. I don't think they look wrong this time. Moderate risk as you go into Monday. So we've got two days with that potential for heavy rain. The bright yellow, where you've got 15 inches. The darker yellow, 10. That tan color, seven. All right, let's look. So there is a look at Ida, moving northwest, 16, getting its act together. Um, you know, the Hurricane Center is looking at, at this wind field saying it's expanding and it sure looks like it. I'm going to have to measure that when I get back. Water temperatures are warm and it's moving over the Gulf Loop right now. That's that deep warm water. At times we've had dry air wrap into it. You can see how that dry air has moved in at times. It's like, come on, <laughs> bring it in. And then now we've lost, oh look, those are the highest cloud tops that you're seeing as the sun is setting with the center right about in there. All right, so we've got Hurricane Ida moving our way and looks like those tropical force winds are going to be arriving overnight. We'll be here.